Hey consumers, welcome back to Amateur Consumption. I'm Isaac. And I'm Mary. This week in our craft beer video, we're going to be checking out Noda's Hop Drop and Roll. Hop Drop and Roll is a West Coast style IPA with Citra, Amarillo, Centennial, Warrior, and Chinook hops. So these hops are added in 10 separate additions to give it some variety of flavor and its hoppiness so to speak, um, and this specific beer also won the gold medal in the World Beer Cup, so it's kind of a big deal here in Charlotte. It's definitely the quintessential beer if you're thinking Charlotte Brewing right now. Um, it's definitely the preeminent um, IPA at least. So just like last time, we can start by giving this one a smell. I do smell a little bit of citrus. But I do know that I'm looking for it because of the citra hops. For me, this has um, qualities and smells of a certain herb <laughs> that exists, as do many IPAs. Um, they kind of smell like that herb. You know. Um, they definitely have an earthier smell yeah. to begin with. But I get that grapefruit or yeah, peel Yeah, you get some zest. of the citra for yeah. sure. Should we taste? Yeah. It's smooth. It's extremely bitter, um, which is good. I, I like that a lot. So this beer comes in at 7.2 ABV, so it's a pretty heavy hitter when it comes to beers. Um, and it does come in these 16 ounce cans, as all beers from Nota Brewing Company do. In addition, it's 81 on the IBU scale, so that's pretty high up as far as the hoppiness goes. So that can indicate bitterness, hoppiness, um, it gets a little funky to talk about, I think, sometimes, because once you get into doubles, they can be higher on the IBU scale, but taste less bitter. Mm -hmm. But in general, this is on the more bitter, more hoppy scale. Yeah. I find for myself that 81 in IBU rating is a really sweet spot for me. I tend to like a lot of beers that are right around that range. Um, they taste just bitter enough that it's not like drinking something sweet, um, but they're not, not too kind of off the deep end. Um, for me. So this is a really good spot for me. You can also recognize some of the West Coast style done here um, because you can actually see through it a bit. If it were more of an East Coast style IPA, then it would be more opaque. Yeah, that's a really good point. And hazy. So the Noda Brewing Company has two main locations. The first one is in Noda, North Davidson in Charlotte. And that is kind of where the company got its origin and start. Yeah. And then they also have another location that is based in... It's more like the edge of Noda. Okay. Yeah. Uh, both are very family friendly. Um, the new location has a frisbee golf section, mm -hmm. a lot of outdoor seating. Um, they're really big into having those open, open air kind of like space where you can go and relax with your dog yeah, or and family. The, the Noda Run Club as well is one of the uh, biggest run clubs here in Charlotte. So that's another thing that's a big deal at Noda and the run club itself is free um, but I think you can get some discounts sometimes if you're there regularly. So for Noda I think it would definitely be a must visit if you're visiting Charlotte um, but if you're a resident it's a must go to. Um, residents of Charlotte definitely need to be checking out Noda Brewing Company um, and seeing what they have to offer. Thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Craft Beer. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Get your craft on.